The heart pumps blood throughout our body through blood vessels. Our blood vessels can either be constricted or relaxed. The control of that constriction and relaxation depends in part on the endothelial cells, but endothelial cells line the inside of our blood vessels and they talk to the smooth muscle cells that make up the vessels that these are the cells that cause constriction and relaxation. So here is a picture of two blood vessels. The one on the left is constricted, the one on your right is relaxed. What does that influence? It controls your blood pressure and blood flow. There are a number of compounds basically which can generate, but the most significant compound which generates blood vessel dilatation from the endothelial cells which can make the vessels go bigger so the blood can flow is nitric oxide. So, if you're going to do a research study, you want to have a system that actually produces nitric oxide in response to some stimulation. Two of those stimuli that have been known for two decades now that increase nitric oxide are insulin, the hormone that controls blood sugar, and a chemical that is called A23187. Now, the group that is doing these studies in New Zealand took and measured nitric oxide production by cells at three hours. So you take cells, you pour in a little nothing or insulin and A23187, and you see what happens after three hours. Now, this is remarkable. This is remarkable what we see with the chart which we see right here. Tom, go ahead. Tiny amounts of insulin in A2387 did produce a stimulation of nitric oxide production at three hours. When the group in New Zealand took Nitro Extreme, three different samples pulled out of our production line and sent to New Zealand, three different, distinctly different samples each produced extraordinary amounts of nitric oxide at three hours. You guys are sitting on a gold mine, a gold mine. <laughs>